maggots, dirty, filthy, disgusting, and yet they have this amazing superpower where they can actually help us clean and heal infected wounds. Diabetic ulcers are currently treated in hospitals using surgery, which is really quite expensive and needs to remove some of that living tissue as well as the dead tissue, followed by a course of antibiotics. But if that infection is caused by an antibiotic resistant strain of bacteria or superbug, as we hear so often these days, then it's really not gonna be helpful. And ultimately, the infection could spread, causing further complications, or the limb may even need to be amputated. Maggots, however, thrive in a bacterially rich environment. They feed on dead bodies, in waste sites, and yet they're able to take all the nutrients they need from that and kill and eliminate anything that might be harmful to them. So how are they doing this? Well, our lab has so far discovered over 900 bacterial species present in wild flies. And while some of this may be coming from the food they're eating, one bacterium in particular, Proteus mirabilis, seems to be present in almost every sample. But not only is it present, it's still alive. In an environment where most bacteria is being killed, it's living and remaining with the maggot throughout its life. And that's led us to believe that it's actually playing a vital role in this elimination of the bacteria. So my research now is focusing on where exactly Proteus is located, how it's getting there and what it's doing, and then how we can use that to our own advantage. Before maggots are put into a wound, they're sterilised, completely cleaned, and all that bacteria is removed. But what if we're actually doing more harm than good by doing this? What if, by keeping that bacteria in the maggot, that treatment factor is going to be much greater? Think about our maggots like little superheroes. Sure, Batman can defeat the Joker on his own, but it's going to take a lot more attacks, a lot more effort and energy. But when Batman teams up with Robin, the attack is more instantaneous, more effective. So if our maggots are going to work better with their bacterial sidekicks present, shouldn't we be doing everything in our power to keep them there? Then Bat Maggot can team up with Robin Mirabilis and we can defeat those evil superbugs using nature's very own misunderstood superheroes, ultimately saving limbs and lives. Thank you.